Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On March 17th, a member of my constituency in Calgary Northwest wrote me expressing concerns about the zones of regulation concept being taught at her son's school. Her son had never any issues expressing himself or his academics or his behavior, yet now he doesn't want to go to school anymore because he doesn't want to have to talk about his feelings in public in terms of what color he uh, feels like he is. Without question, we do want to make sure that students are prepared for a changing world. My question to the Minister of Education, wasn't inspiring Ed in initially uh, subject to flexibility? Honourable Minister of Education. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, zones of regulation, uh, this concept uh, which is uh, not part of, uh, of uh, my pedagogy is uh, not part of inspiring education. Zones of regulation is also not part of the current uh, curriculum or anything that is prescribed through the provincial programs of study. Uh, resource decisions and pedagogy decisions like zones of regulation are made at the local level, Mr. Speaker. For a supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, to the Minister of Education. Since the introduction of Inspiring Education in 2013, has there been a review of this initiative and its efficacy? Honourable uh, Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, Alberta education does not dictate uh, teacher practices within the classroom. We respect our uh, teaching professionals and we value their hard work. Inspiring Education is a vision for education based on dialogue with Albertans to share their hopes, their dreams, and their aspirations for kindergarten through grade 12 education in the 21st century and beyond. We continue to use this aspirational document as we move forward in the development of a world-class education system. Final supplemental, honorable member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, to the Minister of Education, can you confirm that your office will look into the concerns of the parents of Calgary Northwest? Honorable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I know I share with the uh, member who is asking the question a deep and abiding desire to make edu uh, Alberta's education system the best that it can be for all children, and so I certainly would be happy to discuss with her any concerns she and her constituents uh, have with inspiring education initiatives so that uh, Alberta children can succeed and thrive in this 21st century. Uh